Hello fans out there, welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a four games that I'm really looking forward to. Did I get that in there? Four games I'm really looking forward to. And believe it or not, one or two games in here you might not have even heard of. You might think, well I've never heard of that para. It looks an absolute pile of dog shabba. Well, these are my four games that I'm looking forward to, some of which I'm involved in closed testing. So. <laughs> Can't talk about a lot of the things on there, but I will be able to tell you and talk about some of the things that are out in the public on the websites, etc, etc. So let's jump in and have a look at Uncle Para's top four games that he, Bargum, is looking forward to. Let's go. So first on my list is going to be Battlebit. But you've never heard of that one, did you? Now, I want you to imagine a world where Squad... Project Reality, and obviously clearly a little bit of Minecraft, all got together, they spit roasted each other and had a gangbang. Well, what you get is Battle Bit. Now don't let the graphics on this put you off. This is an in-depth shooter, I kid you not. There is a full class system in here, engineers, assault and everything else. Imagine, it's like the old days, the old school Battlefield, great gameplay, very, very team orientated. It's got a brilliantly stylized feel to it. But believe you me, from looking at the footage, this is actually quite a hardcore shooter. Don't think this is cartoony and easy just because of the style of the graphics. Far from it. Now, there's one developer doing this, and luckily for me, I've managed to get into the closed testing phase and whether I'm allowed under NDA to discuss too much at this stage. Well, let me just say, the game is fantastically fun. And if I can show you more in the future, I certainly will be covering more on this game because it's something completely different. And when you actually get in, you kind of forget about that style of graphics. It's still got that feeling of Battlefield. And it's just brilliant. So that's number one on my list. Not in any particular order. One isn't better than number four. But that's the first one on my list. Next up on my list is a game called Hell Let Loose. Now I'm sure if many of you out there in the community are into squad and all the other military games that we play, you're probably going to have heard of this, but even so, this is definitely on my radar. Now I've been lucky enough to be invited into some close testing for this game, which is not currently active, but it is coming real soon, so hopefully in the future I will be able to share with the community a little bit more information as I'm currently under NDA, so Keep Stumpara. But as you can see, publicly on the website, the game looks absolutely stunning. And the game seems to be, from speaking to the developer, they really seem to be pushing the realism aspect to this. Even in the actual tanks. There's so many different categories in here, from supply, transport, light armour, medium armour, heavy armour, mobile artillery, tank destroyer. There's a huge amount of content in this game. And the maps, from looking at the data, are absolutely huge. There's no denying that this is not going to be a large-scale FPS shooter. And they're doing things slightly differently. Rather than capture points, which is included in certain game modes, there's actually going to be a almost a theatre of war where, as you move forward, the front battle lines actually move forward so you can push the enemy back. Rather than capturing a let's say, a traditional circle or a compound, there's actually going to be like a war mode, which is very exciting, something that we don't get in many games these days. I know 1944 Normandy did it in that sort of RTS style mode, but this looks like a game that we should definitely, definitely have on our radar. You can see some of the screenshots on the screen here. It looks incredible. So if these guys can pull this off, we really are in for a treat. I think World War II seems to be making a little bit of a comeback I never ever want to mention COD on this channel. <laughs> Wash your mouth out, lad. But even they're going back to World War II, and there are a few other games coming out at the minute. World War II, maybe the next one will be Vietnam, and then maybe it'll be the Pacific, and etc, etc. But this is a game you definitely want to have on your radar. Sign up, and maybe you'll get the opportunity to take part in some close testing as well. Now on screen, you can see some exclusive... Only released to Uncle Para, straight from the developer, or hot off the press, some MP40s. And you can see the modelling and detail here is exceptionally nice. 
So expect everything in this game to be thoroughly 100% authentic, exactly how the developer wants it. This has been Hell Let Loose. Keep this one on your radar, lads. Next on my list is Postscriptum. And luckily for Uncle Para, I managed to get into the testing phase again. And oh my fucking god. This game is gorgeous. Ebar gum, lad. It's absolutely stunning. But before we get in and have a look at some of the pictures and a little bit of the videos, the maps are big. I can tell you it's nearly 15 minutes on some of them to get from one side to the other. It's going to be 50 v 50. And these guys are going for absolute historical accuracy, as a lot of these guys are who are making these games now. It's not a matter of churning these things out. It's got to be realistic. That's what people want. And these guys are very, very passionate about this this development from this 40 weapons 100 players 50 vehicles and boy oh boy i can tell you from jumping in the testing recently i went straight for the mg42 and <laughs> eargasm eyegasm trousergasm and any other gasm you can think of those gasms leaving my body in a gasmtastic way i think that sums it up the weapons in this game are just, oh, they are so beautiful to look at. The texture work, everything, and the audio, the, the scrub, big up the scrub, who's one of the audio guys on this project. Ah, oh, that MG42. I, I could literally just have it as a ringtone on my phone. <laughs> That's how good it was. And just the tanks and, ah, uh, guys, this is definitely, definitely one you guys are going to enjoy so much it's it's beyond belief it is early access at the minute when i say early access it's early as in the close testers are helping the developers with a few things and giving feedback and there is a lot of work to be done there's no denying it but these guys are so passionate about this project and everybody who was in testing was just saying the same thing it's just honestly there's a, there's a churchill tank here and when you see this in game moving around and the audio is just it's just brilliant. A lot of the tanks as well, they've got different positions for the driver. You know, you open the hatch, etc., etc. Turrets move slowly and realistic. It, um, it really is, this really is a project that I kind of was interested in. Coming from, let's say, an interesting squad and then got into this. Immediately, you'll, you'll kind of feel familiar when you jump in. But one thing I want to say is to a lot of people out there who seem to be mistaking this for something that it's not. And I'm sure the developers will be putting out some content at some point to explain a lot of this. This is not a mod. Get that out of your head immediately. It's not a mod. This is a standalone game. This is not squad with a reskin. These guys are adding so many new features that I can't currently talk about. But believe you me, this game should be and will be on your list when it finally comes around to whatever they decide in the end to, on release. And a lot of the tanks and vehicles have actually got tracks on them, which we haven't got in squad at the minute, but we know in squad there are Bradleys and stuff that were modelled a long time ago when a dev let slip. But I mean, look at that. When you see this in-game moving through a field of grass, being followed up by, you know, Germans or infantry running around. This is the Firefly, by the way, I think. I mean, this audio has been updated since. It's just amazing. And when you hear the MGs in the distance opening up the trace of fire, and of course you can be killed if you're anywhere near the near the front of that barrel. As you can tell, I'm really excited about this one. <laughs> ah! Speaking really fast. From being in close testing, it was just such enjoyable gameplay that Honestly, I, un I don't think these guys can fail, even at this stage. But I will be giving more content and more in-depth, a little bit of gameplay, some look at the vehicles and other stuff when the NDA is cleared to actually release some of this footage. But so far, this is definitely something that needs to be on your list. And if you go onto the Periscope uh, website here, you can actually have a look at the Churchill and some of the weapons as well in-game. But so far, Postscriptum is definitely on my list at number three. That This order is not in any particular order, but this is fantastic. Make sure you sign up, subscribe, and who knows, maybe you will get in the actual testing phase. Hold up. 
Yeah, all you mother chuggers that don't know the lyrics. Yeah, hold up. What the hell, para? This is not a first person shooter. I see no World War II weapons here, lad. All I can see is cows squirting mook all over the fields. Yes, this is not a shooter. Believe it or not, many of us when we were in the armor groups, serious Milson groups, we used to chill out after and we used to play Farming Simulator. Armor Farmers, we used to call it. And there is one particular game, I mean, we, we even had our own private server, can you believe it, with about 15 of us at one point. Getting on the farm, cropping, fruit, laying trees, forestry, you name it. We loved it. It's just a brilliant, relaxing game in multiplayer. And we were always wanting a game that had hardcore mode that was a really in-depth simulation when it came to farming. And lo and behold, cattle and crops has stepped up to take the farming mantle. Now recently, as a backer, yes, I actually put dollar down for this one. Don't laugh. I put some dollar down, some moolah, some spondoolies, some Queen's English pounds to get in this. And they've recently, as you can see on screen, this is me actually trying out the tech demo. These guys have got a long way to go. It's not quite ready for even alpha, I would have said at this stage. It's a little bit clunky, a little bit this and that. But there is a hardcore mode on here. There is full mud physics. There will be... Cattle husbandry. No, that's not bumming a cow in the cow shed when the doors are locked. That means getting out, you know, putting the lipstick on one cow and telling the other one to give it what for? Baby cows. And then you need transport vehicles, you need this and this and this, and there's a full management system in it and all sorts. So imagine, imagine this is the armour of farming world. <laughs> it's an in-depth, well, in fact, it's not like armour. This is actually pretty good and it works. Leave it, leave it para. Yes, I will be, believe it or not, I may actually do a little side playlist of some farming sim, and you'll find some of that on, on, the, on the actual uh, channel right now, including his name is Martin, which is a funny video you'll find. Um, his, I'm a farmer's, his name is Martin, here on the channel. I always watch that when I'm feeling miserable. The beginning makes me laugh. So, yes, cattle and crops. Believe it or not, that's going to bring us nicely to the end of my top four in no particular order of games I am looking forward to in the next two to three months. Let me know whether you agree. Let me know what you think of my choices. You may think they're all absolutely dog dirt, but that is the imperative of you. And this is the internet and everybody's free to do whatever they want to do. Please subscribe and thumbs up. I'm sick, as I mentioned in another video, being a shitty bottom feeder. What more can a lad do? What more can Uncle Para do? Anyway, thanks for watching. This will be my top four of games coming soon for the PC. I shall see you on the battlefield, in the cow shed, wherever I am. I'll be enjoying myself. See you on the field. I was going to say the battlefield then, but the cow field. I'm trying to think of a clever joke. Can't think of one. Shut the fuck up. I shall see you in another video real soon.